Greetings from Woodlake Lutheran Church in Richfield, Minnesota. This update is for the week of October 25th, 2020, the 33rd week of a peacetime emergency declared by Governor Walls in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. First a reading and then a brief announcement. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes it my soul makes its boast to the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. O mighty, O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so you shall so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. O oh, come, O oh sons, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and covets many days that he may enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Take peace and pursue it, or rather, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As required by our church's constitution, the annual meeting has been set by the leadership board for Sunday, November 29th at 11.30 a.m. Our current plan is to hold the meeting online from the church with a limited capacity for in-person attendance. Please check upcoming announcements for further details. Your officers, commissioners, pastors, and staff are working on the annual report, which we hope to have ready to distribute to the congregation no later than Sunday, November 22nd. If you desire to have one sent to you by regular mail, please contact the church office. When the report is ready, it will be sent out by email. Copies will also be available at the church if you wish to, pick, if you wish to come during regular office hours. A portion of the meeting will be dedicated to answer any questions, but if you have any, it would be most helpful if you would direct them ahead of time to the leadership board via the church office. These are trying times for many people and organizations which makes your attendance and participation in our annual meeting all the more important as we look to the future. I now conclude with a prayer from our Matins Liturgy. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And with that, I urge you all to go out in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.